Hello, good evening and welcome to our Art First Live. Today's session is going to be with our Art First designer, Rohina Thapar, and I'm so excited for everybody to meet her. She's here and I'm going to get her on the call very soon. We're just going to wait for a few more of us to come together. Um, just adding Rohina. Today's session is going to be interesting because not only Rohi is, oh, and she's here. Hi, Rohina. Hey, sorry. Did I come too soon? I, <laughs> no, I think you came right on time. Um, let's do a quick technical check. Can you see yes. me okay? Do you notice anything special about my face today? Your face is blinking <laughs> and there's doodles on it. Uh, you look good. I love it. Thank you. I was just <laughs> shopping a few new looks for myself, you know, for the post pandemic. I'll well, turn I it off for now. Thank you. I think you look amazing as well. And we're both wearing like matching colors. That's always lovely. Um, I think I'd like to wait for a few more people to join in before we begin. Sure. But um, Rohina, as you know, I'm going to ask yeah. you some very burning questions, some super tough questions, and all oh your God. friends and all our colleagues are going to be watching. So okay. we're going to wait like a little bit nervous. more. You that shouldn't be nervous. nervous. You're a natural. You're a natural. Yeah, and natural. I don't know. I hope that I ask you good enough questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have been doing a great job. <laughs> and I think uh, you're going to ask me some really cool questions. And we can just, we can just talk. I think I love talking to you. It's a lot of fun. Oh, so. Good. I feel the same way. I'm really happy to hear that you think so too. Um, yeah. I think maybe I should begin with a just like a short introduction. Everybody watching Art First Live, everybody who has interacted with Art First through our social media, through our art education seminars, through our art education roundtables. This is Rohina Thapar. She has designed the look and the visual aesthetic of everything art first everything you see comes from the brain of this incredible artist and i'm quite excited to be talking wow. to her not just as the lead designer of art first but as the award winning the ip award winning author and like the ip award winning designer of art is a book rohina are you with me yes yes can you hear me you can hear me right yeah you you like you know your face was replaced by a circle for a second but we're good now um, I'd just like to also open to our uh, viewers that if you have any questions whatsoever for Rohina or for us, please send them in and I'll bring them up in the middle. We can also take a break in the middle of the session to review the questions that come in. And without further ado, let us begin. Rohina, <laughs> what was it that drew you to the arts? Hi. What was it that drew you to the arts? Because I know as a designer, you work in a very digital space, but do you have like, you know, personal past or maybe a hidden past in a completely different um, medium? Take us through that story, please. Oh, that is a, that is a very typical story. You know, <laughs> all of us, all of us amazing artists are basically like weird introverted creatures when we are growing up. So that's, <laughs> that's my story. <laughs> I was super shy and super frustrated in my life. So, and I, and I think, uh, uh, I, but, I, but, and I didn't like anything. You know, I was very apathetic, but like the one thing that I really enjoyed in school was my arts and class, uh, arts and craft class. And I don't know why I just, and like, I just enjoyed it a lot and I thought that it gave me a sense of purpose, I guess, in life. And I just, I, I didn't have to be like, you know, I didn't have to be a particular kind of person at that class. So then that's what I enjoyed. And then I think taking from that interest, my parents really uh, encouraged me, especially my mom. She, she really, she sort of pushed my interest and she, uh, you know, because she thought that this was a great way of, uh, of a child to express, to find that, to find yourself, you know, it's, it's a great way of, uh, the art provides you a great space to do that. So, uh, you know, and then, so we, we ha I had some, I, our classes outside of school and then I went to design college and then I'm, I'm here, I'm designing, you know, working in the field of art. So I think it has come full circle in that way and I appreciate like Absolutely. all the support my family has given me. Yeah. 
um i think like it, it to i mean make to make it a little bit personal i think i do feel that the, you know the language of art is it's very open it's very universal it's very accessible to anyone and once you start thinking like in terms of art thinking art the way that art, artistic thinking happens i think that you you know you feel so much joy so much love so much compassion it's uh, you know you can't really you know you become a better person i think when when you when you think uh, you know in art and you work in art and you you know you live your life through art so that's that's one thing i would say uh oh, such a lovely was my relationship answer. yeah and i feel like it still translates into the work you do today because you as you know to do incredible work at art first and uh, it would be impossible for somebody who dislike what they do to you know just produce but thank you for uh, walking us through that rohina i feel like your answer is like the opposite of typical though because not everybody has a history yeah. of uh, you know coming back full circle you go to school you go to art class yeah. and then you kind of do something mm-hmm. else uh, for you it's you go to school you went to art class and now you make art content for schools and for classes mm-hmm. so you got the best deal <laughs> right i know and so, i'm like in addition okay to, um yeah just the work that you do at art first i had a question about what your uh, opinion was <laughs> on the relationship between art and design right so so that and that's a, a valid question because not all designers might be into art and not all artists might be into design but i think um uh yeah so what i would say to that can you hear me i there was a pause in the middle you can hear me right yeah so um so j- i mean i think art and design are uh, you know sort of other in many yeah. ways there seems to be a little bit of disturbance for both of us but please go on mm-hmm. okay okay um yeah so so what i was saying was that basically when you look at art and design i think there are a lot of things which are very similar uh, in the fields and there are a lot of things which are not so similar um uh, i think both of them are about you know creativity oh i'm sorry i think that there's passion. like a network issue but do hold on okay one second you know you still like rohina the robot at the moment uh can you just hold on for a second i think my internet is giving a couple of issues is that internet okay so it looks like everybody can hear us but i can't hear you hello okay you're back uh i will repeat my question um just for those yes. that have joined us recently uh can you please take us through your relationship with art and design when we talked about it and i think just now also you kind of indicated that there is a perfect balance or not perfect balance but i was hoping that maybe you could uh, talk to us or uh, talk to us with that in mind yeah so so there is there is a balance and what i would say is that both of them are similar in the way that there is creativity involved in both uh you know you're kind of giving birth to a new form to a new new thing you creating a new idea and there's like one uh, but but also that there's a difference also so like design is a, a ve- it's not a personal pursuit you are working within constraints you're often collaborating with a lot of interesting people you are uh, constantly measuring like your success and your failure but with art it gives you that freedom you know to to pursue something mm-hmm. which is not so mainstream which is not about pleasing everybody uh, you know and and it's about you know conversing with the society instead of serving it you know which which i think design does and it's supposed to do so i think that way the the quite different as well and i think what's important is that you know you both you have both halves and i think at art first i get to kind of uh, live through two personalities you know one is of course the weird like the quirky artist 
frustrated <laughs> teenager inside myself uh, and also the the you know get get stuff done responsible designer that i need to be you know so i think and then that's an interesting polarity that you know i get to experience and it's also part of the work as well you know and it's part of everybody so uh, and that and the, and you, as you said that balance is there and it's it's there's no particular process to develop it but i think it's uh, it's something that you can pursue and mm-hmm. actually the balance is not something that you want to uh, it's not it's good but it's not it's 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 what you make of something it's it's what your creativity uh, delivers that's what matters and whether it comes from your more artistic side or your design side uh, that that really doesn't matter in the end you know but yeah i like that because then you can check in with like both sides that you're playing the artist and you could maybe say to the designer hey maybe that line looks a little off and the designer can say don't say that photoshop can help or however the designer in you wishes to respond <laughs> to think kind of control the, artist, the situation but uh, yeah no the artist will be like you know what screw it let the line be different let the line go wherever it needs to go yeah <laughs> and the designer will be like no <laughs> so in stop. addition to like the work that you do this <laughs> yeah there is there is a bipolar situation that we are dealing with um, oh my gosh that's that's a i feel like that polarity as you put it is a great way to work though because there's no better way like the best person to ask when assessing something that you've done <laughs> the best person to ask would also be yourself so you know approaching your own work with a different perspective it's insightful yeah. and i think that like, you know it's essential it's quite interesting and uh, i i don't think that i would have really understood that or realized that if i hadn't been speaking to you about it right now because you know there's one part of your brain that goes this is amazing and the other part of the brain that goes could be better who's the designer and who's the artist i feel like maybe this is going to give me insight into figuring out which side is which <laughs> but while talking first art education program books so i just like to kind of segue in how you design the amazing wonderful books published by art first um and this is a question that's going to be about books specifically uh, other than wanting books like this to have existed when you were younger and you know approaching books with an open mind knowing that you know you're not an artist uh, and getting over that initial step um I'm interesting I'm interested to know in the process that you as a designer stick to knowing that what you're creating is very niche or knowing that what you're creating is um often intimidating to a lot of people when it shouldn't be and I feel like you know may have answered it for you but one of the first things that you do as a designer is you've created a very friendly um environment about the book it draws people in and I'm going to just let you <laughs> let me know what you think. No no, I agree with you. I think what you're saying is in the right direction, but um so so one thing I haven't designed all the books that I we have had lovely collaborations with great designers, uh, illustrators, even authors uh, to create the books that we have at Art First and um and of course because I've said that the first thing of that first part of that process is to uh you know you know first of all we do have manuscripts that we work with we do have uh, works of art which are curated already before they go into design and and all of that actually is uh, about the 90% of the work of the book is that you know even before it reaches mm-hmm. design and that's and i think i would like to commend all the amazing authors we've had uh, including ritu our founder vanita likla uh, gopa has written and our editors meera and and so many other people who are part of that process and that's in you know and if you don't have a well uh, written manuscript and a well thought out uh, idea for what the book needs to be you can't really start designing it uh, at all i think that that you know that makes it problematic i think in the end uh, but having said that it, it's i mean designers would like to say that it's very defined but it's not it's really it's it's very it's sometimes very chaotic sometimes it goes in different directions and you have to find yourself back but i think uh, 
what's important is that the as you said the process is very open it's very collaborative it's it's about um co- constant sort of persistence with your ideas uh and and trying to create something interesting and new uh, every time you know and that that's an important thing to remember um and as i said the collaboration bit really comes into play because i remember when we were working on i spy i was working uh, at uh, ishan khosla design and he ishan khosla was our main designer for the, uh, one of the books uh, i spy indian art and so again like uh, uh, you know he he had an inspiration that we could probably use um, you know one of the concepts of color theory by joseph albers and we could try and explore that through tayyab mehta's artwork and that that is an that is an insight that has just come from him and his his study of uh, of uh, the color theory you know and so and then we kind of and that set of the set of into motion how we want to include that in the book and how we can explore that so and that that's the true collaborative spirit that you know uh, that artfus books have always had and i think uh, the creators of artfus books starting from you know as i said ritu usually is the one who's the uh, visionary for the books that we have so you know and and to you know to have her you know kind of be like okay i want this to be a collaborative space everybody come with i come up with ideas we'll incorporate stuff and that's that's what's important you know that's what makes it a, a you know a live book you know which is uh, which has the heart and the dedication and hard work of everybody who's involved in it so um that that's an amazing part of that process and i mean in general i think the idea you know when you're not in the we not at work i think the idea is just to keep your mind really open read books weird things listen to weird music <laughs> um watch funny movies uh, go to galleries go to museums keep your mind sort of fresh and that's what i mean i try to do so that you know like the, the idea is that you have to keep it fresh and and keep it new and that's and your new ideas come from wherever they need to come so um and I, that's what i would like to say about the design process per se of the books <laughs> what's interesting about you know how you talked about the design process being very collaborative and ideas coming from keeping an open mind it honestly yeah. reminds me of when i've asked our mentors in the past to share their experiences and often times one of the most recurring events is something a child says that kind of yeah. sets off a spark within you uh so you know you're absolutely right it, it's so essential to keep him keep your mind open and also to never say no to something that may sound super crazy because and i'm not sure if uh, our viewers are familiar with at least art is a verb but art is a verb is more than a book it's an adventure and um, like rohina said it's a book that's you know it's it's brimming with life and it's brimming with like a countless number of artists that you know mm-hmm. whose works we featured whose works yeah. we represented and like really put together so well and so i was wondering then about the representation of these artists rohina hmm. when you're working on an art book specifically what are some things to consider when you represent so many artists keeping in mind you know that the audience does not know um who they are or what they do so i mean that's it's an interesting question and and the whole idea of art first books has been about awareness of indian art uh for our children because i think uh, there is a huge lack of that visual uh diversity you know in their in their lives and that's what is important to have and so with that vision in mind i think uh you know a lot of these artworks you know first of all as i said the writing the authorship part, part of it does cover a lot of the, the aspects of what is appropriate for children uh what is what is it that they will understand and relate to mm. you know what is it that they need to understand and need to under, need to relate to in their in at that junction in their life so that that's an important part of the authorship process and mm. you know when it comes to design i would say you know i i, I like to think of it like you know creating uh, you know how you know how you know what a like a schema is right in your head it's basically an organization of thoughts and so and mm-hmm. everybody has like an idea of something like i have an idea of a house and you'll have an idea of what a house is and what is a picture of a house you know and there is and it our ideas might be very different but they're also they have a similarity of you know houseness what could be a house so i think just to have a sense of what that schema is because that is based on what you've heard what you've seen what you've felt and keeping that off in mind when you're actually designing 
uh, that's in, mm. that's essential you know because then you kind of meet the child meet the reader where he where he or she is you know and build on their sort of existing knowledge and that that kind of helps in creating some of the work uh, that we have already and the second thing is of course as i said it is about uh, what you want them to also see right so you want them to you know what what is that visual uh, diversity that you want them to have and that affects some of the decisions that you make you know when you're talking about giving space to an artwork you know how do you mm. how do you frame it in a book and what what is the what are the elements that you take out and you play with you know uh, uh what what how do you play with typography you know in in a particular book so that it, it's a way of showing them how text works or how how to read you know in in an interesting way so you know some of those thoughts then come in because you want it to be like a learning experience and a fun experience so that's uh, that's what i would like to say about that you know and i think it's it's so weird like i i find these books to be so informative for me like when i when i read through the manuscripts i'm like oh my god then what happens like i want to read more i want to see more you know and that's uh, that's the that's the beauty of having these books interesting books on indian art you know um and then it's it's a it's like a joy to actually be working on these uh, it's almost as if you I mean. style these books you know in addition to design i feel like i'm sort of inventing this word where you're like a book stylist because not only then are you elevating stylist. the art itself you're elevating how we see the art how especially a child sees the art yeah. and more often than not kids tend to be the harshest critics you know so the fact that we have so many kids that love our work in addition to the numerous adults that are our fans um i think speaks testament to your entire i think the body of work that you know you work on collaboratively at the end it always seems to pay off because you yeah. um yeah there's so much of thought that goes into it um we're running out of time so i'm going to ask you our last question rohina <laughs> but this Yay. has been so insightful and thank you so much for you your so much. wise words your incredible um, ideas so <laughs> there are people in the comments who agree that yes you are a stylist of books I am a stylist. thoughts ideas <laughs> there is a lot of research also that goes into the work that you do um before i met you i was uh, i didn't know the importance of typography and uh, you know and how essential that was to a book and then when i went like i kind of experienced how meticulous you are when it comes to the creation of uh, something as incredible as the stories that we work on it honestly it, it inspired me as well to keep my mind open and to learn so that something might just strike you at the most random of times and then make sure that you know you make a note of it in your notes app so that you don't forget about it um but yes rohina wow the last um the pop question it's a burning question yes. uh okay. if you I'm could ready. grow an extra limb to help you make yeah. art what would you grow and how would you use it okay i'm very excited about this because i have thought about this <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> i am drawing it out so that you can see it oh okay um to the uninitiated and to all of our viewers <laughs> rohina is now going to be drawing her answer to my question that i thought she would be responding to in words so we will all get to react to this incredible work together let's be artistic what's wrong with you okay <laughs> okay i can't wait to see what you do <laughs> how is rohina uh, do you think you is... can take a few questions while yes. you're drawing yes yes um So I'm just going to if you guys have any questions please just type them into the box and I will read them out to her. Mm. There's a lot of people that agree with you Rohina and I feel that that's the artists and like the just the crowd of artists and designers because I feel what you said about there being you know collaboration when creating a book I feel in what you do there's a collaboration between and correct me if i'm wrong the space that you utilize how you utilize it the kind of yeah. text that you put into that space there's just a lot of finer details that i feel you like you know you sprinkle on the garnish and you create this incredible dish for everybody to enjoy <laughs> um wow i think there is a friend of yours who is here they ask if you're from sanskriti school 
Yes. Oh my God. That is my that is my awesome teacher. My amazing art teachers. Uh, yeah. Hi, Shruti, Shruti ma'am. Hello. <laughs> yes. Oh, welcome, Shruti, ma'am. So nice that you're here. Thank this you. is Rohina yes. Thapar, now lead designer Thanks at Art Post, award-winning designer. Um, I I don't know. Just her presence uh, reminds me of just the importance of having a supportive. educator right from the get go the right teacher is so important to the outcome of how one tends to view um just the larger scheme of things yeah absolutely um, absolutely i agree with you all right i'm ready to show you what i've done you are all right boom can you see it it's kind of pixelated do you think you can go over it that looks no, interesting it's... Is it a hand? Right. <laughs> okay, so I kind of cheated a little bit. You know how those things are where you get like three wishes and you ask for thousand more. So that's what I've done. <laughs> this is me. And okay. And I have like um, I have like one bulbous head, and from there you have these <laughs> tentacles coming out, and the tentacles have eyes on them. Okay, so I can see like everything like all around me, and then. they are projecting like all kinds of interesting images and weird stuff like into the space so that so basically i want to like combine all the creative thoughts that i get from here and just see uh-huh. <laughs> so that's my extra limb somebody rightfully pointed out thanos's glove <laughs> i wish i could get <laughs> thanos's glove that would be <laughs> <laughs> you did take that, that one wish and turn it into a thousand wishes, but I'll give it to you because I quite like what you said. Can you please send this to me so I can add this to the video? I think people would love to see this as well. <laughs> it is art, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rohina, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for yeah. speaking with me and um, taking everybody so who's watching Thank through the so process of hosting. your design making. you're creating and just your general outlook which i feel is it's inspiring always nice to listen to you talk <laughs> yeah and it's fun to talk to you because you're a <laughs> you're a great <laughs> interview <You're welcome. laughs> so despite yeah, the network thank issues thank you all for bearing with us maybe it was just on my end but thank you all for bearing with us and your patience and for sticking till the end <laughs> My, my friend supposed to be all right then rohina i'm going to text you after this this was really okay. great cool see you soon goodbye everyone thanks for having us <laughs>